Hello, Aaron Shiner here. Another video in the Quick Tip series proudly brought to you by Independent Alliance. Today, what I want to talk about, one of the main keys to real estate, that is getting referrals. And my question is, how do we go from turning someone from a passive referrer into an absolute evangelist? Let's discuss it now. Referrals are an excellent source of income and listings and sales in real estate, but yet, why do some of us not get it? And here's the thing, people say to me, Aaron, but I sold the property and I did a great job. Here's what I know. We get paid to do those things. Getting referrals, there's a science to it, and that is when we get referrals, it's because we do the things that people don't expect us to do. You know, when you list and you sell the property and when you do all those things, that's what we're expected to do for our fee. So my challenge to everybody here, if they want to get more referrals and increase their referral business, my old mentor told me once, he said, Aaron, the definition of ethics is doing the right thing when nobody else is watching. Or in real estate, it means doing the right thing and expecting nothing in return. So with that principle in mind, how do we increase our referral business? And I call them the feel-good moments. So what are the feel-good moments? For me, it's very important to let people know how much you appreciate them, and they're the little things. So when a vendor comes on the market after they've listed to the time they've settled, what are four things that you can do to make them feel that they're appreciated and that you've been grateful for their business? And I've got a great idea. One of the first things I get my coaching clients to do on settlement is give, my, give, the, give the seller a USB with the photos and the videos of the property with a little bow on it and a card. And the card can simply say, hey, thank you for giving me the opportunity to help you list and sell your property. I know you could have done that with anybody. I appreciate you choosing me. That's an example of a feel good moment. How about when a purchaser buys from you and now the property has settled? How about a couple of gift vouchers or some pizza vouchers and say, hey, the first night the power might not be on or you're not, in, you're not out of boxes yet, go grab a meal on me. I just wanted to say thank you for being a great purchaser. I appreciate your business. So the homework from today, what are the feel-good moments? What are your four feel-good moments through the listing presentation? What are the four feel-good moments after the settlement for the purchases? And more importantly, what are the four feel-good moments in after you've done that appraisal before listing. So, you wanna get more referrals? Don't just do the job you say you're going to do, also do the things that they don't expect. That's it for today, guys. Keep an eye out for another video coming soon. Have a good day.